Former FBI Director James Comey boarding the organization's jet for the final time. President Trump unexpectedly fired the 56-year-old on Tuesday night. It followed recommendations from both the Attorney General and his deputy, citing handling of an investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while Secretary of State. Our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. In Trump's letter of termination, he writes, While I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. The, the White General House said that the new the Deputy Attorney General, Rod Gaines. Rosenstein, who was confirmed just two weeks ago, had lost confidence in Comey and determined that he should be replaced. Democrats, who'd recently praised Rosenstein's integrity, voting him in by 94 votes to six, raised questions about the timing. The first question the administration has to answer is why now? If the administration had objections to the way Director Comey handled the Clinton investigation, they had those objections the minute the president got into office. But they didn't fire him then. Why did it happen today? Some Democrats claim that the president was trying to derail an FBI investigation into whether the Trump campaign collaborated with the Russian government to influence the presidential election. Allegations that have been dismissed by Trump and his staff. We've heard that time and time again. We heard it in the testimonies earlier this week. We've heard it for the last 11 months. There is no there, there. It's time to move on. Now, the president and Rosenstein find themselves under immense pressure to appoint a special prosecutor who's beyond reproach to oversee the case.